Hello guys, Ashkar here and welcome back to another Skyblock episode. So, today we are going to do another kind of recap and everything I've done off camera type of video. Uh, I've done this like 10 episodes ago, um, so I thought maybe it's time we did another one. So, I haven't done uh, that many things. Uh, ever since the first recap video I uploaded but there are a few notable things here and there that I want to talk about and um, I also want to talk about my plans for the future so first things first uh, probably people have already noticed in the last two videos uh, I have a new skin for my sword uh, I got survivor survivor keys uh, from the what do you call it the community gold presents and one of the survivor uh, crates gave me a skin crate key which gave me the skin so this is how I have the skin now uh, I think it's pretty awesome uh, it's not a legendary skin so it doesn't have any abilities sadly but uh, I guess I can live with that. Second thing, uh, these mythical chests uh, weren't here uh, the last time uh, we did a recap video. Mythical chests are unlocked from mythical crates and they basically can be upgraded using sky coins and they store value blocks just like I have it here. I didn't fill these chests up uh, yet, but I am going to do that eventually. Third thing, I have two Skycoin generators and one spawner generator placed down on my island. Uh, the Skycoin generator is, well, generates Skycoins, 2000 Skycoins per hour, uh, and it can store up to 100,000 Skycoins. So you don't have to claim it for 50 hours pretty much and spawner generator i placed this one down today uh spawner generators generate 0 0.15 spawners per hour and uh, these spawners are tier 5 spawners when maxed out so i maxed this one out just to get um tier 5 spawners so that is that uh xp farms obviously a uh, give xp uh, you can upgrade that in your is upgrade menu on level one they give 50 xp and on level 11 they give 150 xp uh, and you can have a maximum of five of them so you can get a maximum of 750 xp uh, per minute uh, which is a pretty neat addition to my island. You can craft uh, XP farms with enchanted lapis and you can get generators by unlocking them from the seagull, so the community goal presence, or uh, unlocking them through opening crates. Uh, I don't think there is a way to craft them. Uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't. So, yeah, that is that. Um, okay, the most notable thing, I think, that has happened on my island uh, is down here. So, first of all, I have this massive potato farm, which is not the biggest uh, I want it to be. I still need one or two layers on this. My plan is to build enough uh, layers of the potato farm. So if I do one harvest, by the time I actually finish that full harvest, the top layer just grows back up again and I can do another harvest again and I can do harvests uh, non-stop. So that is my plan. I will require 
uh, two more layers, I think, at least. But uh, as I showed in the previous video, I have unlocked. That's not how I access it. So I have unlocked the tier six personal missions, and I need to farm wheat to be able to unlock uh, the crop duster six uh, enchantment recipe. I need like two hundred and fifty thousand wheat for that. So I might as well just build two or three layers of wheat on top of this so I can actually farm it. Uh, probably that's going to happen at some point. Uh, as I said, I need to place down dirt anyway to, uh, to be able to constantly farm potatoes. But before I do that, I am going to be farming wheat to be able to actually do that quest. Um, my, the other thing that happened down here is, well, as you can see, I removed some of the sugarcane just to plant carrots here. My plan is to extend the sugarcane farm this way, uh, and add a few other layers, um, uh, and place something like beetroot down here if I ever need it. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, the reason I want to extend the sugarcane farm is because sh farming sugarcane actually gives way more uh, points towards the farmer's harvester. You need, I think, around 5 million crops farmed to actually get farm fortune 25, which is the maximum amount of farm fortune you can have. And... Yeah, that's obviously uh, what I really want to go for, uh, because Farm Fortune 25 will make me be able to get way more money, because I can get way more potatoes than what I am getting right now. Um, I can break 30,000 potatoes, and it gives like 15 times more on average, but... I think on Farm Fortune 25, it will give me 70 times more on average. So that is going to be a really nice uh, to have. Another thing I really want to go for, I've seen people uh, with melee weapons that have sharpness 6 or sharpness 7 or sharpness 8 on them. And I am pretty sure you can acquire them from the black market dealer. I have been paying attention to the black market dealer. I do have a black market totem, so I can uh, teleport there a few times. I want to see how much uh, these weapons actually cost. Because, well, higher sharpness means higher damage. And higher damage means getting respawn anchors way faster. Um, so, the other thing that I really need to talk about in this video is how I'm going to be managing my time, um, because the thing is, I have had over 350 ping for like three or four days, and the game becomes really, really unplayable uh, with that ping. And I discovered that if I wake up early in the morning, like 4 or 5 a.m., I can have a stable ping for 4 or 5 hours. So basically, I can far I can make videos, I can farm, I can grind the nether, I can do everything in those five hours, and then the rest of the day is just, I guess, fishing, because that kind of works with this this amount of ping. Like, right now I have 287 ping, for God knows what reason, because when the season started, I had stable ping entire day, or it didn't go up more than 150 it didn't go higher than that 
and now it goes up to 500 and 600 sometimes uh so it, it has been really really annoying so i have to make videos in the morning pretty much and then i can't do anything entire day so i am gonna have to make videos about me doing things that aren't necessarily that exciting because i want to go for the uh 30 day challenge obviously i want to finish the 30 day challenge and i want to go for 50 days as well uh actually i want to go as far as i can uh with this uh at least for another month i think but if i can do it uh throughout the entirety of this season so if i can do one epi or make one episode every day uh until the season ends that would be quite amazing uh hopefully i can do that but obviously the problem is at some point i'm gonna run out of content to show um i don't know how i'm gonna manage uh how i'm gonna be able to make new videos but i will definitely try um i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to stick around for more because i am definitely gonna try to go for those 50 days at least and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day goodbye